Now this illustration deals with any mixture of cables. When you're mixing them in accordance with uh, NEC 392, 22A1A uh, through A1C. Now, notice in the cable tray, we have multiple conductor cables. And A uh, 392.22A deals with multiple conductor cables. So the cable tray width that you see at the top should be selected from table 392.22A and based on the calculation in the column two of that table. Now you have number four or larger conductors you see illustrated there. And when it was all added up, we had a 12.6 diameter total. Now that's the diameter of each cable that contains uh, multiple conductors uh, inside the, the jacket. Now to the right, you have smaller than four all conductors, and notice that they're permitted to be placed on top of each other. Where the conductors to the left, number four and larger, cannot be stacked up on top of each other uh, because they're afraid of the damage that might occur if you just keep stacking them up. So now, uh, based upon larger than four alt or smaller than four alt, we will go to the next illustration and see how uh, the cable tray is selected.